So I'm at the Dusitani Beach Resort. The entrance. A lot of people will be wondering what's nearby. So we've got a 7-Eleven here. You've got a taxi service here. Tourist Information Centre. got a laundry down here food restaurants it's a little bit quieter on the other end there's a big C mini oops this is what you need an exchange place here and then you've got a few more restaurants up here Star Hotel in Krabi. Um, it's on the beach, it's on private beach. So if you can see, zoom into into the trees there, you can see the sea. It's a sea view, sea facing of a, a villa. Oh not villa, sorry, room. And then so you've got your general iron ironing board, you've got all your tea, coffee, water, you've got your um, beach towels. I'm just gonna show you the bathroom area. You've got your bathtub towels, hair dryer, so toiletries, and then you've got the shower in here, all the toiletries, so yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna go outside and let's see how it is outside. So it's about seven in the morning. It's been raining quite a lot, but hey, that doesn't bother me. I'm off to breakfast, so yeah, let's see what they got for breakfast. There's the lobby down here. So you've got the beach right down here. Let's see. Let's see, might be the only person here. I think I'm the first person here. Yeah, um, can I have masala chai, please? Yes, masala tea, yes, please. Thank you. Cap. So, this is the sitting area. We also got outside seating area here. Uh, it's nice and warm outside. nice to recall when nobody's here because everything's full it's a bakery section bread have a lot of Indian food here paratas fresh chickpea curry oh it's, everything is full samba curry Milk, salad, yogurt, chicken sausage. So I did ask at the hotel reception and they said the chicken is halal here. Sorry, Kav, how are you? The egg station. Okay, that's breakfast done for me. Breakfast was okay, nothing spectacular. Just your standard stuff that you'd normally get in a breakfast. Um, 
a lot of the days, you know, in hotels, you get the same thing every day. Um, I daily feel something different, yeah. But it's all good. Um, you know, now I'm off to sort of the pool and the beach area. So, yeah. Let's have a look around this hotel. So you can access the pool and the beach area from the breakfast area. Here we go. Shop, spa, and so on. So opposite me is where I had breakfast. So yeah, it was, it was raining quite heavy last night. Um, but hey, it does dry up really quickly as soon as the sun's out. She so has to get up nice and early to enjoy all this. See, the sun's coming out slowly, things are drying up. This down here is building A to D. It takes you back to the lobby. Um, there's some sort of meditation room here. Not the spa. The spa's on the other side. So here's the Coco Vida restaurant. This one I think opens at 10 o'clock and it's open all day. Um, We got a pool here. Pool's not that deep, it starts at 60 centimeters here. So here's another restaurant. It's called the Lemoncello. This is an Italian restaurant, pizza, pasta, and so on. You can order Thai food in the other restaurant as well as sort of burgers and fries, your western food. We've got a kids club here. It's just on the beach. At the moment, there's no tie, I mean, sorry, there's no flags out. The beach is nice and clean. Got your volleyball. So water sports are open from nine till six. So you can go canoeing, you can take a boat out. This is a nice chill out spot. To be honest with you, it's, uh, it's low season at the moment. Um, so there's not a lot of um, tourists. Well, there is some tourists, but not many, because obviously, you know, low season, it does rain a bit more during the summer um, and the tides are higher. So, happy the sun's coming out hopefully it stays like that because we're off to an excursion for island and hopefully that should be up on my next video so these are some of the excursions you can probably book off the beach as soon as you come out of the hotel there's a stand there that's do the same thing exactly the same price so you can go on a private speedboat, four island tours, 9,500 baht. And they take you to these four islands here. Um, you can go to Fifi Island, Fifi Le, Fifi Don, New Bay, uh, I don't know, Pile Lagoon, Lagoon. so um, that's 13,000 baht. So yeah, there's quite a few excursions. It is cheaper than uh, taking a boat out from Samui or Phuket because I found that quite rather expensive. 
and here this is again negotiable so you know don't just say okay yeah i'm happy with that you can always negotiate uh, you'll probably take this down to about eight thousand baht uh maybe that to about 10 to 11 i'm guessing so then you can take a long tail boat as well and the prices are much cheaper Um, but I think when the tides are quite high, I'd rather go on a slightly larger speedboat than a long tail boat. But I, I have been on a long tail boat um, and it is really nice. Here we go. There's a restaurant down here. During the evening, it looks absolutely fantastic. Just come in here, sitting back. It's this restaurant right here. Sitting back, the food is fantastic. They sell Thai food, they've got pizza burgers and so on. They've got a really nice Thai food here. Um, you want to sit here while the sun's going down, sun setting. Rabi, Dusitani, it's got your own private stretch of beach. Oh wow. Clean, pristine beach. We're off to the other side now. Um, It shouldn't be so here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so this bit here you can sit here and watch the sunset they've got plenty of lounges here Two islands right over there, loads of islands actually. I've got these lounges, they're quite good, so if it's raining, so good. Deep is 1.35 centimeters. Got the breeze bar on this side and some more loungers. The hotel grounds are kept nice, clean, tidy. This is the spa. This is what I mean by staying in E or F because you've got access to the spa, go straight onto the beach, the restaurants. This is block E and this is block F. And then right in front, we've got the gym. I'll show you how the gym is. Hey everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for some more fantastic videos. Keep an eye out for my next video where we're going to be going on an island tour on one of these speed boats. Um, so yeah and before i go just a bit about the resort the dusit tani krabi um i think it was an excellent choice friendly staff um clean resort would i return yes most definitely so i'll see you soon